So I wanted to talk about um, Assassin's Creed Shadows and the Valve, which are coming um, at the end of this year. I believe both of them are slated to be released sometime in November. Now, Assassin's Creed Shadows, there hasn't been any a gameplay, obviously, the, yet. But I'm sure in the next couple of months we'll be seeing some. Or what uh, probably uh, uh, like Avowed did where they show off the game mechanics and everything. I mean, Avowed's already done that, the creators of, Obs of Obsidian. But Assassin's Creed Shadows is going to be apparently smaller, open world -esque type uh, land of Japan. Um, but they they hint that it's still a sort of open world like um, gameplay. Um, not as big as uh, Odyssey. They say that the map is actually just as big as Assassin's Creed Origins, which Assassin's Creed Origins, from what I remember, was a decent runtime, you know, exploring and everything. <clears throat> so, at least there's that. Um, I thought that Assassin's Creed Shadows was going to be a linear Assassin's Creed game, but apparently it's going to be like Assassin's Creed Origins in the respect of an open world exploration type of game, which is cool. My concern with the game is what the Hala was. Um, the Hala was okay, but it really didn't bring, other than the period or the time that the game was set in, it really didn't bring anything new to the my in my taste for the Assassin's Creed games. Um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey will be my all-time favorite Assassin's Creed game for my personal taste because I love the whole Spartan era and everything like that. Assassin's Creed Origins in the Egyptian era was was cool as well. Um <clears throat> But Odyssey was my number one pick and still will be. Um, I'm sure that the story in Shadows will be as, even in Valhalla, like, you know, written decent. Um, hopefully, I'm saying uh, it will be. But I, I am going to hold off on that until I see some gameplay and everything because I want to actually see how, uh, you know, it looks um, kind of mechanically. I want to see that. So I do actually want to be some spoiled with spoilers for the, both of these games. And that's what I'm coming to. <laughs> oh, but it, um, at the same time, I, I think, you know, having Assassin's Creed in Japan is kind of like what a lot of us were hoping they would do. But let's see if it lives up to the hype. I want to see the leveling system, how that's going to work, if it's changed somehow from previous Assassin's Creed open world games. Um, you're going to be playing two characters, so I kind of want to see how they do that, implement that. Um, you're going to be playing one more than the other. Um, the only thing about that is I don't like the fact that you're forced to play another character. Um, you know, it's kind of like um, Resident Evil, where, uh, let's say, for example, Resident Evil, what was it? Resident Evil 2, where you played Claire for most of the game, and then you had to play the little girl. I can't remember her name, and you had to do all that that part. Like, uh, I, I would have rather had it like Odyssey, where you kind of had the choice of playing um, two characters, and you chose one of them at the beginning, and then played them. I mean, the outcome was pretty much the same, but still. But anyway... We'll see how, how what they show off with that. So if it's looking promising, you know, then it'll be worth the price of admission. Now, Avowed, 
Uh, Avowed, I've been, uh, is actually, I've been waiting for, um, well, when it was first announced. Um, it's by Obsidian. Um, and, uh, they've done pretty good games in the past. So, uh, it was going to be a Skyrim type game, but then they changed it. So I'm interested to see on uh, kind of how it's going to play out. Like, it's, it's, uh, more linear play gameplay style uh but i'm sure that it's going to be still enough content there to really get exploration in um they have had recently a gameplay video i mean it looks really good um Switching out between different weapon styles is really cool, and that's like a very interesting aspect of it. Um, but I want to see uh, before I even purchase, like, look to purchase it. I want to see sort of the reaction from everybody, not just uh, other players like us, but um, kind of like it's um release how it goes you know like i've been burned i guess i'm saying with these two games i've been burned uh last year with starfield and mortal kombat 1 on the disappointment so i do not want to purchase full out right these games because especially with assassin's creed shadows i think they're asking for a ridiculous price for it you know i'm not Spending over a hundred dollars on a friggin' game. I don't care how good it is. It's like the, that's that was the problem with Starfield and Mortal Kombat One. I got sucked into that both times, and I don't want to fall down that hole again. So I want to see these games in action. I want to see the the reactions after their release. Maybe I won't even get them until like December or next year. I want to see the traction. Okay, like um. <laughs> remember Cyberpunk 2077. I remember when I got it initially, um, the game was terrible and, and polished. So I did get my refund. Um, but Project, uh, what did they, Project something, the, the company that made Cyberpunk, they um, actually made the game proper again. And uh, when did I get it? I got it... Um, last year or no, no yeah last year i think and i was amazed at how they fixed the entire game like it's so playable it's fun it's one of the really cool um futuristic open world type games um the graphics are fixed up the glitches are mostly gone i mean the odd one pop up but not as bad as when it was initially released so that's also why I'm waiting on these two games when they come out. I want to see the reaction. Because I think uh, um, video games over time, the developers have gotten lazy. Bethesda is a big example of that. They went from a really good company to like subpar at best. Starfield, I don't care how many patches and whatnot and quality of life things they come out with like... That game pissed me off, and uh, I don't care to play it again because of that fact. I spent this money, <coughs> bought a game, and it was like half a game. It, it was such a disappointment there. Uh, not as bad as Fallout 76. Thank God I didn't buy that game. I played it, though. But, like... No, I'm sick and tired of these companies half-assing their games. They look good uh, initially with trailers and everything, but when you actually get the game, it's disappointing. So that's why I'm holding out on these two games. That's why I'm making this video, because I felt like I just had to say it, that video games are skeptical in my eyes today. Uh, I want to see them in action. I want to see the reaction before I even look at purchasing them. But at the same time, I'm not going to pay like 120 friggin' dollars for a game. I don't care how good it is. 
And if that's the case, like wait until it's on sale. So um, I have more faith at this point in Avowed than I do Assassin's Creed Shadows. If I'm going to be choosing between the two. But we'll wait and see. So um, that's all I have to say. A uh, short little video on this. And um, take what you will from it.